Yeah, I mean, so they say. I would have never have picked this out on my own, but Samaya Hernandez just walked by. She's like, oh my gosh, this is great. Symphony was loving it too. It is the work behind this gentleman right here. Uh, Jere, I, I forced you to be my friend over the summer. Finally got you to come on the show as we celebrate Black Entrepreneurs this month. Talk to me about your business and what you love. We're inside a truck, folks, I should point out, as you travel Connecticut and share your unique style with our state. Yeah, so I have this cool business it's in the back of this truck that we're in right now. It's a one-of-a-kind store. Um, I cater to a whole bunch of different clientele with a whole bunch of different a variety of colors and styles so that you can express yourself a little bit more with your clothing. Um, it's super trendy. Uh, it's good for all ages and all cultures. Everybody seems to fall in love with it and just loves to support. I travel around to different festivals and different fairs all through the spring, summer, and fall. Um, hopefully, you guys are able to catch me. If you see the truck, come by and check it out. And you are a public face with this business, whether you asked for this opportunity or not, you are clearly a role model to little boys and girls, uh, you know, across the state as they see you doing business. What do you want young kids to know about kind of following your dreams and pursuing something like this? Um, you just got to believe in yourself. You know, when no one else does, you still have to believe in yourself. You have to stay true to yourself um, and just be ready for the ups and downs. There's going to be da days where you have bad days, bad weeks and bad months. But you got to know that when it rains, it pours and the sun is always going to come out again. All right. I know one woman who knows a lot about drip and I've been promising this all morning behind the curtain. My partner in news, Symphony Privet, joining <laughs> us now. Symphony, you always are stylish. What are you oh, loving about you. this? This is very comfy. It's soft. It feels good. And this is very trendy. Like you said, Jere, a lot of the, the kids, the young folks, um, like the more casual look. This is the look I go for on the weekends. So I love this. And to see her smiling in this, to see me in this, what goes through your mind? What do you like about this, by the way? I am just loving it. I'm loving how she looks in it. It looks so stylish. The all black with the popping pinks and greens and blues on the front just gives her a whole bunch of pop. And then she also has the cool sleeve print that I am just in love with. Um, and then you, Keith, you are just looking amazing in the baby blue with the white and the baby blue paisley pants. I think you guys are so well put together. And I was just so happy to be able to style you guys today. We are thrilled you're here. Should point out, people can find you you all over. You're at Parkville Market a lot. Where else can we find you? So yeah, I'll be at the summer, uh, the food truck festival in Meriden this year. I'll also be at Parkville Summer, Parkville Market throughout the summer. Um, you can check me at the CTSW Car Show, the summer showdown this year again. Um, and I'll just be branching out to every event that I can possibly have the opportunity to show my business off. All right, Symphony, what are you wearing to the anchor desk tomorrow? Are we going to do this? <laughs> yeah, why not? Okay, listen, I'm going to put you on the spot. We talk about, you know, helping you get chose. These new clothes <laughs> might get you a new lady. Showing up in my jammies. All right, <laughs> who needs my mom to make the pitch when Symphony Privet can do it for us? You're looking good, my friend. Thank you. Thanks, Dre. Back to you guys.